We count and we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, very good. We've been talking about how God created the world, right? And so what God did is he, he made plants, he made bushes, he made trees, he made flowers. And he also made Adam and Eve. He did, and we're going to talk about that today. What else did he make before he made them? Well, he made animals, fish, and birds, right? So we got to put some fish up there in the water. So we got to put some birds up there in the air, right? You think it's okay to think that God created fish and birds? I think it's okay to say that. Where's the fish? They're coming. Got some fish. Any of you have fish at home? In an aquarium? I have one in my pond. You do in your pond? That's great. I have one in a tank. Oh, yeah. I thought someone my, would. My fish died. Oh, well, my fish died. And then we had on the land, we had, how about some pigs? Pigs. How about some bunnies? Bunnies. How about some. Swans. Oh, we don't want their water to go down. There, we can go on the water. And, well, let's do something real big. How about some elephants? All kinds of animals. What about giraffes? What about giraffes? We do have a giraffe here. I think a couple giraffes. And it was a beautiful place. Well, we can't get them all up here because there's so many birds and fish and animals that God made. Everything you see that is outside, everything in the zoo. So, God decided he was going to make a person, the first man, Adam. And I think you've been using some Play-Doh in school and God was forming, putting together, shaping the man out of the ground. And I'm not going to make a little man, but uh, that's what he was doing out of the clay, out of the dirt. Yes? Oh, well, that's great. I have lots of play-doh. That's wonderful. Wow. You guys could maybe make a, a little uh, Adam and we'll get to Eve too. So the first man. So we're going to put clothes on him for today. Uh, and then God also, from part of Adam, from his side, he made the first woman, Eve. Okay. And... I put them over here because they're different than everything else in the world. They're not the same as animals or fish or birds. Now, all of those are wonderful creatures of God. But when God made Adam and Eve, it says that he made them like forming them with his own hand. Right? He didn't do that with the birds and the fish. I know how he and Craig did he pick up stuff from the ground and he blew it. That's right, and that's what we're gonna talk about now. How he breathed into Adam the breath of life. And what was that all about? Well, he was giving Adam and Eve a soul. That's what gives us life. And that's what makes us different than all the animals. They're all wonderful things, wonderful creatures. And we have pets and we like to go to the zoo and, and uh, they make us happy. 
But the most important thing of all of God created is people like you, like me. And so to kind of think of how God breathed into them this life, I brought some balloons. This will be our boy balloon because this is uh, blue. I try to put a happy face on there, but it doesn't stay real well. That's what God did. He breathed into Adam life. And then here's a pink one for, for Eve, for the, for the girls. These are hard balloons. <laughs> and look at that. God also made Eve full of life. It says God made them in his image, which means they were perfect. They didn't have any sin. But we'll talk about that next week. And then, you know why we know people are so special most of all? Because Jesus became a baby. Jesus became a person. Just like you. Just like me. So that we would have someone to take away our sins and, and take us to heaven someday. So people are the most important part of the whole world. And that means you're special. And that means God loves you. Just the way you are. Because he made you and me. And he gave us life. Well, we're going to pray now, okay? Okay. So, let's fold our hands. And bow our heads and close our eyes. And you can say after me, Dear God, dear God, thank you, thank you for making me, for making me special, special. Amen. Amen. Very good.